Gentleman from the 22nd District, Representative Hunt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, for years, my children gathered at our house on weekend evenings to watch movies, to play video games, to share experiences with their friends, and to empty out our refrigerator. In any given night, we would find, ten, weekend night, we would find 10 to 20 kids sitting around in our house in a safe environment, an environment that my wife and I welcomed them into. And it turns out, several of those kids are gay or lesbian. I stumbled into this realization when I would say things like, Hillary, I think you should go out with Lars. And she would say, uh, Dad, Lars is gay. Or, why don't you go out with Mike? And she would say, duh. Dad, I don't think so. When I said Nathan and Katie would make a good couple, the response was, Dad, that just won't work. My children were educating me. Each and every one of those people are young people, outstanding and welcome into our home, and they still come visit. One worked on Broadway and came home and started a business. Lars Anderson was a high school valedictorian, went to and graduated from the Air Force Academy, worked in Congress, and now works for the US State Department in Washington, DC. One of them is a financial advisor in Seattle. They have partners, families, friends, and each one contributes to the community. So the vote I take today to legalize same-sex marriage for these, is for these young adults and my friends, my children's friends, those kids who lived in the basement and drank all of our Pepsi. I did get a good collection of aluminum cans, however. This issue bothers them less than it bothers my generation. They don't seem to know what the big fuss is about. They have asked me to take this vote. My two children, Hillary and Nathan, have asked me to take this vote. My wife of 41 years has asked me to take this vote. My 91-year-old mother has asked me to take this vote. And yes, today I'm voting for House Senate Bill 6239 for these young adults, gay and straight, who called our house home for so many evenings. And I'm voting for my many GLBT friends and family, people like Anna, Jeff, Marilyn, Ann, Alec, Gabby, in Olympia and throughout the state and through, throughout the country, who deserve the equality and the respect that this bill provides. And yes, Cal Anderson, this vote is for you. I have no doubt it is the right thing to do. And to my basement dwellers, some of you who are here today, thank you, and this vote is for you, our future leaders. Please join me in voting yes.